Hey everyone, we're going to be doing a string dip rose and this is at a request as uh, one of my lost videos from the happenings of July um, was in one of my previous videos. It was captured in the, on the display stand, it was noticed and I uh, was asked if I did a video on that one um, so the answer was yes, but unfortunately that's now gone. And so I said that I would do another. So here it is. Uh, the paints I'm using are Creative Place Crimson and the Creative Place Mars Black. Sorry. Uh, I have, they've been mixed with Atelier Pouring Medium and Floetrol. Those two combined at equal parts together are my pouring medium mixture. And so that's got those there. It will have a white background, which is my spring white house paint with Floetrol mixed at approximately equal parts as well. So then we just need some type of string, which I prefer wool, which this is an 8 ply, just everyday wool. And so because I want to make sure that I have enough length to wrap right around the canvas, I will lay out my string, grab it where needs to be cut off and do so. Oh, there we go. So there we have it. Okay. Now I want that thing to go away. Okay, let's get some colours going on here. Alright, so pop that aside. Down there. And spread about the white. There is no silicon in this. Pour on the white for that smooth gliding background that string dips require. Okay, quickly give that a spread. Covering all corners and over the sides. There we go. Very nice. I will torch that. I have to. Okay, so I've changed the angle so you can see a lot closer to the level. Quickly torch out some bubbles. And commence. So I've laid my string here so you can see that. And we are just going to layer out some black and space it out a bit. It's only two colours so hopefully once we get some colour extra flickering will be reduced. Okay, 
So we just want to make sure that the string is actually making full contact within the paint and absorbing some of that into it. Okay. pretty good. Pick it up, it's very long. There we go. Let's start about, oh dear, stop moving. Here. And just do a spiral, continuing to spread around the previous section Whoop. Right. so this one we're going to pull from the center and pull it into the center trying to do as much drag on the canvas as possible so you don't want to lift it up too high, you want to keep it down low and try and catch all of that excess paint in your hands so it doesn't drip onto the painting. Okay. Now with this to pinch my fingers around the string and pull it through. This causes the muddied paints to squeeze off. And you can start again with a relatively fresh string. So lay that back down. and trying to keep the red section red and then change fingers to help push the black into the black. One more time. Sorry about my chair. Okay, so you want to line it up with the edge to continue the spiral and let it fall off the edge. So I'm going to start back in from this section, drag it in, into the middle. That way, see, it will drag up the side and continue with that nice, even flow. In there. Squeeze all of this off again. Oh gosh, I can't find the end. There it is. Yes. Pulling it through. back into the paint so 
Okay. Try keeping the red nice and fresh and change fingers for the black again. coming along but I'm not very happy with this section but I can show you that afterwards okay. continuing on laying it down oh, down okay catch this bit here and that's where it ends. So. Let's pull that bit up. Okay. Lift it up all the way around to here. So there was a whole section of this string that wasn't touched. So I'm going to lay that down as though we are continuing on that string. Oops. Oh dear. There we go, I'm getting all messed up now. I can't say that this is turning out the best, but there we go. So I'm just going to use a section of the string to put down into the paint, freshen up some of the colours. Actually going to lay this bit back down here. Continue it. Finish off this corner. So there's quite a few sections that I'd like to fix up. So let me see if I'm able to do that. So I've got my string and I'm going to cut it off shorter. So now it's just this long in the paints.
it is very muddy now. All right, so there we go. Uh, that's how it looks. Um, oh dear, gloves. It is not as colourful and vibrant as previous ones, as I've only used the two colours. I thought the red and the black might look, um, because there's already white in there, the red, black, and white might look a bit classic. Um, but I think it just got muddy too quickly, so, but we'll see how it dries, but let's just have a close up. So there's the center of the spiral, center of the rose. Originally the string dip rose was pulled outward. Whereas this is that slight variation and pulls inward. So my touch-ups weren't as subtle this time around. <laughs> but yeah, it's okay. But there we go. Another way to utilize the string dip technique. And we'll put it aside and let it dry. And I'll show you how it looks in an upcoming video. All right, thanks so much for watching. As always, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And if you'd hit the like button, leave me a comment and share if you can. That would be amazing. Thanks so very much. And remember, be fabulous. Bye.